stampers and thanks for joining me today. Are you ready to give the coolest Christmas cards ever this year? Well, I'm certainly ready to show you how. This card is lit up with a tea light. Pops up onto an easel stand and your tea light slides right in. All right, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get started with the super coolness. I'm gonna start by 11 by four and a quarter inch card base. I'm gonna score that in half. And sadly, at the time of this video, our new cutting blade isn't quite available yet, so I am demonstrating on our old one. Now what that does is just fold our card base in half, but I'm gonna do one more score from this bottom fold line to the top corner of the front panel. So our card eventually will fold like this. Two pretty easy scores to make, I think, for the coolest card ever. Okay, next for our window on the front, we have three panels on the front. Vanilla Early Espresso and our Cherry Cobbler. And we also have this panel as well. And they're all going to need an extra large oval punch. So what I did was, since the extra large oval punch only goes through one sheet of paper at a time, I made a template. And this way, all of them will match. And if you wanted to just eyeball your first one and use that as your guide, you can do that too. I'm just going to punch that out of the base. And this panel is actually going to cover the base. So I'll line that up and punch that out of there. Now for these two guys, I kind of just line them up over each other on this. So it's going to go like this. Just kind of flip that over and punch it out. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because the punch is only made to cut out one panel at a time. If you cut out more than one panel at a time, it could break the punch. And we do not want to break our punch. Now all of our panels have our holes in them. I'm using the De Designer Frames Impression Folder. We're just going to take that hole that we just punched up, line it up inside the oval. Perfect. Sandwich that between two cutting pads and place it on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform. Just like a sandwich. Crank it through big shot. When you're done, you can see that just gave us a frame. So very cool. Really easy to do. This card actually uses the Joyous Celebration stamp set. We'll be using the word, and we'll be using Rudolph, the sweet little deer, as well as the frame. We're gonna put Rudolph right inside there. A Versamark ink pad, we're gonna be doing some embossing. You can tell mine is very well loved. Stamp that deer right in the middle of this vellum cardstock panel. Dimensions are on my blog. Now this is the hardest part to line up right here because you can't see with the Versamark but it seems to work out all right eyeballing it. So far I've had very good luck with that. <laughs> so you can see we've got, oh that was perfect, nicely done. Just a folded piece of recycled printed paper because I don't have my powder pal tray handy. And some early espresso embossed powder from the holiday mini catalog. Flick off any excess. Oh I know he's beautiful but we're not quite done yet. The coolest part is yet to come. We'll be bringing in our new Stampin' Heat tool. Love this guy. Two settings. We're going to go with the hottest one. Just hold that right over there and, oh, wow. Make sure that you're using Stampin' Up! cardstock vellum when you heat it because any other vellum will curl. So now we're going to stick him right underneath there with some snail. If there's any overhang, go ahead and trim it off. I have just a hair of it. I'm gonna just trim that right off. And then what I did was I put snail right on the back of that vanilla. More snail. And that should line up perfectly on our espresso because we already planned it that way. And we can go ahead and put that on the cherry cobbler panel. Now for our accent piece, we're using the Festival of Prints designer paper. Oh my gosh, they're all gorgeous. Every single one of these would look beautiful on here. Every single one. It was tough to pick one. I think I'm gonna go with this red print this time. Oh, this green on the back is good too. Oh, they're all good. I hate that. It makes it so hard to decide which side to put down, never to be seen again. Those go on espresso and the espresso goes right over the front of our card. Now we're gonna attach this to our front panel. Now the trick here is don't snail the back of this panel. Don't snail. What you want to do is snail here, only on the bottom triangle of our base. That's it. So I put a little extra and then line this up with the front. Press down good. So what happens is, since we didn't snail the back here, 
it's only attached in that bottom part and it will fold up. And that, that's really it. It's hard to believe it could be that simple, huh? Layer a panel of very vanilla on the inside. I stamped the greeting on some very vanilla and punched it out with the large oval punch and an early espresso with the scalloped oval punch. Attach those two together with some snail adhesive. Two stamp of dimensionals on the back. I put it down at a little bit of an angle on the inside there and so when this pops up it just that holds it steady. Two more finishing touches. A little bit of bling for Rudolph's nose. Some of Stampin' Up's rhinestone stick-ons right there. Mm. <laughs> and I'm just in love with this ribbon tool in the holiday catalog. I literally just tied a little strip in a knot. I'm just cutting it right off the roll so there's no waste. And a little bit of snail or a mini glue dot will hold that down at the top. This pack of flameless LED tea lights came from Target. You can probably get them anywhere, craft store, Walmart, online. They're just battery operated. No, no threat of fire. And then when you stand that up, this little guy slides right in the back and I'll hold it up so you can see there he is in all of his glory and then he folds down again flat. Mmm, love it. Fantabulous. Very, very fun project brought to me. I got this idea from my friends Susan Adams and Janet Baker. Fabulous. All of these supplies are available in my online store through my blog with the exception of the flameless LED tea light. You can be the giver of the coolest Christmas cards ever. Thanks for joining me today.